Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Siemens channel. My name is Nicola and today I will guide you through our presentation around speed up operation through paperless manufacturing and EBR apps. For 25 years, Siemens has been uh, developing uh, MES system, which is called Op Center Execution Pharma and has been deployed worldwide in many different implementations. We're covering different sectors of the life science industry, focusing primarily on pharmaceutical and biotech industries. Our system is around the electronic batch record. The electronic batch record follows a very precise uh, life cycle and goes through three main steps, design, execute, and review. First step is the design of your master batch record. The master batch record is in our system designed with a very simple tool which doesn't require any IT skills, very intuitive, which allows you to assemble different building blocks and different sub-processes which are already be defined through a very graphical point of view. The execution is the part where the end user, the operators on the shop floor will be guided through a very defined process to control the different steps and inputs of your batch record throughout the entire process. The last step is around review. The review is more or less re reviewing all the different steps of your process and comparing that with the master batch record. All the deviation can then be tracked and reviewed one by one. This is leading to a review by exception where the MES is an aggregation point where you will be able to define and decide if your process can be released or not. Our system is pre-validated and uh, follows all the regulation of the pharmaceutical industry. There are many different functionalities in the MES and I will not cover all of them today, but I want just to highlight a few of them. So we're starting from a master batch record where, as I said, we have a graphical workflow and different text editor that will allow you very easily to assemble the different elements of your master batch record, defining your CPP and C2A that you will use uh, during throughout your process. The electronic batch record is the executed version of your master where you will be able to identify the electronic work instruction and the guidance for the operator that will then enter all the values um, that will be controlled in real time. And also in real time, we'll be able to identify the deviation to the process that will then need to review by exception. Of course, the different resources that we can use throughout the process are very important. Material management from the inbound to the outbound will allow you to track and trace every material movement or usage throughout the process. Same thing with the equipments. Equipment will equipment management tool, our equipment management tool will allow you to define the different steps um, that you, where you will use your equipment and the different steps of the life cycle of the equipment to check status, sanity status, or usage status of your equipment throughout the process. We can manage fixed or mobile equipment, single use or usable equipment. Of course, everything related to your equipment will be track and trace in the system, as well as composing the equipment logbook later on. Two very important steps uh, throughout the pharmaceutical processes are weighing and dispense and packaging. Wing and dispense will allow you to very precisely measure all the materials that you will use uh, during your process with also all the complex calculation you may have related to weighing. Packaging is another step where all the material replenishment and all the requirements around in-process control will be very important and are taken care of by the system. Of course, our system is embedded in a more larger IT landscape where our MES will communicate with enterprise integration tools uh, like ERP, LIMS, document management system, and so on and so forth, where we have standard connectors to be able to exchange information with the system. On the lower level, integration with automation is, of course, critical for the MES, and our MES is, of course, 
providing a native integration with Siemens automation layer. But I want to talk today about our innovation program around the MES. Our MES is looking towards the future, and this is why we're bringing a new set of functionalities around it. The first one is our mobile application. In addition to the functionalities that we have today, we're expanding with native mobile application that can interact with the system or complement the actual functionality. But also we're bringing other innovation around the MES, like for instance, a deployment facilitated in the cloud or in a hybrid form. We also can build new application using low code, using the Mendix platform. We're providing a set of native mobile application, which are already available on the Google Store and the Apple App Store. These apps are natively defined with tablets and phones and will give you access to all the EBR critical data directly on your mobile. It embeds also biometric authentication, which is native to the device and facilitate the access to the application. We have today three main applications. The first one that I want to talk about is our reviewer batch. Our app is mainly around facilitating all the process of review of your electronic batch record. The goal is, of course, to increase your production efficiency by reducing the time of back and forth between production and review. So in real time, reviewers can receive the, di the different deviation or exceptions that are happening during the process and can interact directly with the operator in real time. That reduces the time of reaction, especially after a deviation. At the same time, you will be able to sign with your fingerprint or face recognition to approve or comment one of these deviations. The second mobile app is our eBatch operator app. We're bringing for the operator a very easy to use mobile application, which will allow you to scan barcodes or RFID identification. You will be able to track and trace your material directly from your mobile device, being able to identify and select the right equipment, reconciliate or compound your different material directly from your mobile device. The third application I would like to mention is our e-logbook application. In complement to all the different steps that we're already tracking in the system will allow you to enter the different logs during and throughout your different process. So you will compose step-by-step -step your equipment logbook, for instance, to identify the different actions that you're doing on your equipment, but also to change the equipment status very easily. All in all, we continue to remove paper in your production. The goal is to be able also to review and check all the entries of your logbook and facilitate the review of all your documents, which are today on paper. Another innovation I would like to talk about is our biometric authentication. Today, uh, we're partnering with a company called NIMI, which is providing biometric bracelets, and we'll be able to identify the user through the biometric components of the fingerprint and the uh, ECG to ensure that we have unicity when we use the bracelet compared to the user. Based on that, we can very easily authenticate logging to the system, but also sign electronically using the bracelet. And this is throughout the entire application. Another innovation yet again is the mixed reality. We're bringing augmented reality for the electronic batch record. Using some device like the HoloLens, we'll be able to project all the electronic work instruction for the user, facilitate guidance, and also allow a recording of the information hands-free using, for instance, voice recognition. That can also be combined with biometrics to avoid completely the usage of a keyboard, for instance, from the authentication to the recording of the data to vision of your electronic work instructions. This is, of course, to enhance the user experience, facilitate and accelerate the manufacturing execution. 
One of the applications of that is, for instance, in a biosafety cabinet. This is why we've been already partnering with different personalized medicine company to implement this solution already. Another part of our innovation program is about the different implementation scenario that we can propose today. Of course, we have the classical on-premise installation with a very efficient way to process and to deploy, even with the rollout for large-scale deployment. But today we want to propose different scenario. For instance, implementation in the cloud. We are already capable to bring our MES to the cloud or to provide hybrid scenarios. We're working with different cl cloud providers to facilitate and accelerate the deployment of the MES in the cloud. We can also propose managed services to not only host, but also manage all the application throughout its lifecycle. Next topic is around modularization. Today, the industry is changing. Instead of having a very fixed process, we can define very specific modules of production that can then be assembled latest minute for more flexibility. We're working with different equipment providers, OEM, to work on this future of production and facilitate modularization of the different steps. We've been working on a standard called MTP, modular type package, which allows to exchange the different information related to equipment or modules throughout the different layers of the pyramid. The MES acts as an orchestrator to be able to assemble and orchestrate the different steps of your process for the different modules which are used. We're working with the Bioforum Operation Group to define that industry-wise. In a nutshell, I would like to summarize the different topics that I've been talking about today. First off, going SaaS. The goal for the MES is not only to be installed on-premise today. We can propose different scenario to implement the MES directly on the cloud or on different hybrid scenario, proposing a managed service around all this implementation. We're also bringing new technologies like augmented reality to enhance the user experience for the user and to facilitate production eventually. Biometric bracelets and biometric authentication in general is also something which is facilitating the life of the operator on the shop floor and reducing the time of production, also increasing security. Modularization is the next step of production and our MES is already ready for that. Mobile devices are used everywhere today. This is why we're bringing a set of native mobile application from the MES into your pocket to facilitate review, execute, logbooks, everything you need around the MES to complement your actual MES functions. Thank you very much for your time today. I'm Nicholas, and I will be here for you. Feel free to ask me any question you want. Let's talk. Thank you.